position. Embark on this journey with you. Good morning and happy new year. It is the new year and I recently got new glasses because new year, new me. I have some friends at NYBK that gifted me some glasses and they're just these like clear frame glasses. I haven't changed my glasses since like before starting this YouTube channel. So it's very weird to see myself wearing anything other than my black frames. They also gifted me these pink sunnies, which are very fashionable and I can't wait to wear them. They're so cute. I'm still trying to recover from the food poisoning I had. It honestly made me feel so bad. I'm so glad to be feeling better. All right, let's get the day started. Oh my god, he's so cute right now. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Wait, he's so cute. Work it. You should be a model. So now that it is 2022, I want to show you how I jumped into the new year more confidently. I made this template on Notion and it just includes a lot of different things that I like to think about when a year ends and a new one begins. So here's my template. I called it New Year, New Me. And here is all the sections. I have a section where you can write down the priorities in your life that you want to focus on in the new year, some habits you want to work on, things you would like to watch, read, or listen to. And in the middle column, I have a reflection journal. So some of the questions are, how did the last year surprise you? What negativity are you still holding on to that you don't want to bring into the new year? How do you plan to take care of yourself physically and mentally for the next year? And once I reflect on my previous year, I like to start thinking about my goals for the next year. I included some examples under each category just in case you need a little bit of help with that. And underneath that, I actually made a habit tracker. I just did some basic ones like dishes, laundries, learning, etc. But you can replace it with whatever habits that you would like to insert. And then on the right side, I have a column that has positivity to bring into the new year and also negativity to toss before the new year, um, a section for people I want to reconnect with, as well as a quotes to live by. And you may have picked up on this already, but this video is sponsored by Notion. <sighs> I'm always raving about Notion to my friends because I have been using it for a few years now and I don't see myself ever stopping. I still remember when I was freshly self-employed and I just remembered feeling overwhelmed that there were so many things I had to keep track of and I didn't know how to do that. And Notion was really an app that made it so much easier for me. Notion is a workspace that you can use by yourself or with a team of people and I personally chose Notion because of how customizable it is. I've seen a lot of people that use Notion and every single person seems to have their own way of customizing their Notion space. You can create an entire system to help you manage your daily tasks to some of your yearly goals. So if you're thinking to yourself, wow, there are so many functions and I have no idea where to begin, I always recommend going to Notion's website. They have a templates page where you can download other people's templates and I would just find one that suits your needs the best. Take it and add whatever you want to it and over time you will be able to know what things you want to keep, what things you want to toss. Then slowly you will personalize it for your exact needs. I feel like if you love planning and organizing, Notion just feels like a giant playground and there's just so many possibilities of what you can do with it. If you would like to check out my Notion and have my free templates, I will have a link in my description. And yeah, I hope you like Notion. Got a little sad shrimp package here. This came all the way from Singapore. I feel spoiled. Look at all the goodies. What is all of this? Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Man, Natasha is always spoiling the heck out of everyone. She gave me her new pouch. It has the cool, not that sad shrimp keychain on it. Oh, whoa. So cute. What a vibe. Little shrimp keychains. Stickies. I always love stickies. And her socks. Whoa, the packaging on these. So cute. Her brand new t shirt. Whoa! So cute! Oh my god! And a bunch of prints and stuff! Oh my god, thank you so much, Natasha! You're amazing! Am I gonna put this tiger here? No, yours is right here. Oh, thank you. Why do I. I'm scared that this isn't gonna work, even though I know it's gonna work. <laughs> Go! Like the guys from, like right am I gonna be like the guys from Tokyo Revengers? Oh! It transferred! It transferred! Perfectly! Oh! Sick! Wait, I wanna show them. Think about dry cap. So cool! <laughs> I decided to get some temporary tattoos with the housemates because we just wanted to have a little bit of fun. This one is called Clarence. He's a worm. This one is a little demon cupie right here. And then I have one with two girls on a bicycle and then a gummy bear right here. But yeah, mom, if you're watching this, these are fake. This is Jada, okay? I was planning on designing February Patreon Awards today and I ended up getting January's rewards in the mail. This is for January, so I'm gonna ship them out soon. I think my stickers are coming tomorrow. I'm really excited for those because I have a sticker sheet coming. I really like this print. A little update, I decided to do a cat and tiger cupid for February's um, design and my friend recommended this to me. We were like brainstorming for a good, I would say hour or so. I was like asking people on Discord what they wanted to see and my friend suggested that I give them a little booty. As you can see, they have a little booty. And I thought it was really cute because when you think of Cupid, you think of their butts. You could be my honeybee. Can you give me something sweet? This thing you have could give me scars. Straight to the heart, and you feel like a Sunday breeze. Singing birds and buzzing bees. I played your song on my guitar. Good morning. I want to show you how the tattoos developed. They look a lot darker now. I feel so like out of my element and I feel so much more confident with tattoos. I feel hard. I got this hat from Depop and I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I think it looks cute. I was working on the Patreon postcard for February and I am in love with how it's turning out. This is what it looks like right now, and the colors are just like all fitting into place. It feels so good to have like a good piece. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. <gasps> Theo! Theo! Good morning, Theo. Good morning. You're sitting on my chair. I'm supposed to be drawing right now. Over here. 
Man, I put a towel down just so your hair wouldn't get everywhere. So I am almost done with this Mossery sketchbook. I got this, I usually write when I start sketchbooks, but I got this February of 2020 when they gifted this to me when I first started my YouTube channel. And I am so bad at finishing sketchbooks that it took me two years to even get close. But I'm thinking maybe I'll do like a sketchbook tour of this on YouTube when I'm done. Cause this is one of like my pretty sketchbooks that I'm kind of proud of. So yeah, I still have five, five pages left. So if I do one every day for this entire week, I could, I could do a sketchbook tour. You're gonna turn your hair blue. You're so needy, Theo. I love it. Do you guys care what color game we get? Not the one that falls apart while you're wiping. <gasps> oh no! Stinky Theo, you're so such a stinky. cat. So stinky. Why are you such a cat? Just <sighs> disrupting the flow. He's like, I am the creativity. I'm painting a picture of Theo on top of Theo. <laughs> meta. This is meta. Meta.
I got paint on the tail! Okay, you're off. You're cancelled. Cancelled! You're cancelled. <laughs> oh. It's okay. I'll... Maybe I'll buy something. Quick. Yeah. Maybe a quick one today. Next week we'll go back to Google. Yeah. One of my goals for 2022 was to do my best to write every single day, whether it's like a few pages of writing or a sentence that just says what I did in like the day. I wanted to try to write a lot more because I feel like every day it's just like such a good opportunity to just reevaluate everything that went on, how you felt. That's what's going in here and it's going pretty well so far. I've pretty much written almost every single day since the new year began and I think what motivates me is like how pretty the notebook looks. I spent my time decorating this and making it pretty just so I would want to write in it. master at parking. Do you see this? I'm a master. The first complaint. The first complaint. crazy <laughs> helicopter helicopter <laughs> take your time man take your time from a hike, a six mile hike at the Gold Strike Hot Springs Trail and it was a very very fun hike. I haven't been hiking in a, in a hot second so it was a little bit difficult coming back. We didn't finish the entire trail but we got like five miles in. But yeah, now that I'm home, I can 
finally continue packing my Patreon orders. I usually use a 4x6 postcard envelope for when I package Patreon mail, but I totally forgot about that when I was ordering my stickers. So I accidentally ordered a 5x5 sticker sheet and I didn't have enough envelopes to pack these. So yeah, I just have to do that and then I will be free and I'll pass out. I was in quite the work attitude this entire weekend. Um, I was very motivated to just get a lot done. And recently I made this TikTok for fun. I'll put it right here without the music because I don't want to get copyrighted. But it's pretty much a TikTok showing off like these um, ink box tattoos that I got. And uh, it somehow blew up and got half a million views. They saw one of my inkbox tattoo TikToks and they're like, they said, so, so, so cute. And I replied very flirtatiously. I said, you know what's cuter? Making apple cheeks tattoos. And they saw it and I didn't think they would see that. That's why I was flirting with them. And they said, I couldn't agree more. And they DM'd me and told me to send a few designs that I would potentially want to make into tattoos. So there may be a collaboration very soon where you can get temporary apple cheeks tattoos on your body. I did all of these yesterday night. Like I was like a workhorse. I was so excited for this collaboration, but I will show you the ones that I made. So I have this strawberry dude, onion boy dude, banana dog, this sour lemon, the I don't care bunny conga line, and the you got this flower. So yeah. Oh, and this tiger. But yeah, I have seven. I wanted to make more, but I didn't want to overwhelm them. So I just stuck with seven and maybe if they like it, I can make more. We will see. It's been a month or two now. I've been waiting to get my redemption code for my silver play button because we reached a hundred thousand and I never got it. I had like three copyright strikes from when I first started YouTube and I just cleared that right now when I got my redemption code and I'm going to I'm going to redeem it right now. Oh my gosh. Should I write it as Apple Cheeks or my full name? I feel like I should write it as Apple Cheeks. Yeah, I'll do Apple Cheeks. Good morning. Um, I'm just about to start my day with some yoga and journaling. I've been keeping a pretty good routine of, I guess, building those habits. I don't know how long it will last. So far, I'm enjoying it and I want to do it and that's all that really matters. I'm just journaling about the four agreements right now. I feel like after reading this book, I feel so much lighter and I look at things a lot more differently. I always like to write little quotes down of what I've been learning and it's easier for me to actually put it in action once I have it running through my brain. Let me show you how I've been keeping track of my goals. So me and my friends are doing like this little challenge where for a whole month we pick one thing to either let go or to work on. Um, so example for them is they might be letting go of some vices. And for me, I want to exercise more. I am the type of person that can't get anything done unless I see it in front of me. And this is why I always use Notion and plan ahead and write things down because if not, I'm gonna forget it. Currently, yeah, I'm just working on journaling, yoga, and no naps. And I want to keep it pretty minimal because I don't want to overstress myself with trying to accomplish too many things and so far so good. I mean, 
We're almost done with the month, and I've been keeping on track. The excitement cannot be contained. I think my plushies are here. Oh my gosh. It's so soft. It's magnetic. Oh my god, it works. Oh. I'm so happy with the final results. This is the um, final sample of the plushie I made. Let me go grab the first sample that I ever made. So this is from the first manufacturer that I worked with and I realized that we weren't a good fit. But this was the first sample I ever made, right? I mean, it's a lot of people have fallen in love with this one, but unfortunately I will not be making this one. Um, and this was the second one they made and it was a little bit better, but it still wasn't giving me the vibe that I wanted. Ah, oh, but these! And look, they have like a little butthole. Do you see the little buttholes? I'm gonna go around and see people's reactions. Are you awake? Yeah. Alright, do you have pants on? Ah! Oh, this one is so cute. Dude, this is so much better. Than the first ones, right? Yeah. I have the first ones with me. Do you want to see them? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go get them. Iterations. Iterations. One, two. He's got a little sock. Compared to so this one. Cute. <laughs> this is this is the first I mean, version. Yeah. And that's the last version. Oh my goodness. Wait, does it have a butthole? Yeah it does. <laughs> Where is it? Oh I like the size. The sides are like perfect for right? Take off the hats. What? You just can take, take the hats off? off? Yeah, just like take them off. What? <gasps> it's magnet! Yeah. What? Yeah. That's genius. Uh-huh. Okay, hold on. Okay, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's. I don't think it's that strong. Yeah. <laughs> you weirdo. These are so. Cute. Wait, this is genius. Wait, we'll give you this idea. Um, I thought about it a while back, and then I didn't think it was possible. But then I saw another girl make it yeah. with magnets, and I'm like, oh, I guess it is possible. Okay, yeah, with strawberry. Oh, cute. <laughs> Little hearts. It's okay. Hi. Hi. Look at my steak. <laughs> good. Oh! Oh my god. You can take them off. No way. <laughs> it's a dude. It's a magnet that yeah. is so clean. That's hella cute. This is super cute. Oh my god. Everyone likes the strawberry one. <laughs> I would definitely buy the gray one, but the strawberry one is like. Yeah. It's gonna be a favorite. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So. I wanna create 3D versions of them and animate <gasps> them. That'll be dope. That'd be cute. What would they sound like if they had a voice? This has more of a like because he's like under the under the bed. <laughs> mm -hmm. he's, he's been neglected a little bit. <laughs> he's got a little hard side. He found a way to develop oh, himself. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like like, <laughs> yeah, it's one of those situations. Can I put this on my head? <laughs> 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 